Alright, hello folks. Happy Valentine's Day. I, I can't growl sexily. But happy Valentine's Day from Everyone Dies at the End. Uh, we're here to do a top ten list, another top ten list. Our top ten Caroline Monroe movies in honor of Valentine's Day. A day of love. We got this for you. Caroline Monroe, we got this for you. And number 10, The Golden Voyage of Sinbad. Sinbad. Really good stop motion by Ray Harryhausen. Ray Harryhausen is the man. Uh, Watch his documentary on Netflix. It's amazing. Lots of arms happening. That's what all this is. Golden Voyage of Sinbad. Caroline Monroe. Valentine's Day. Number 9, At the Earth's Core. In all fairness, I think At the Earth's Core is great. I just don't remember the second half of the film. <laughs> Jumps right into the action, they're not like, Ooh, well, should we go to the Earth's core? No, it's the day of, they're on their way, and they go down there, and there's like, fantastic stop motion and some good costumes. No posturing, Peter Cushing. Peter Cushing. And Caroline Monroe, Princess Dia. Yeah, and she is a princess. The original Xena, Princess Dia. The original Xena, Caroline Monroe. Uh, at number eight, we have Dracula AD 1972. Boom! Excuse me, Stella, my dear. Boom, 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 boom. What happens when you bring Dracula to modern day 40 some years ago? Jessica Van Helsing being targeted by. Christopher Lee Dracula, number one Dracula of all time, Christopher Lee Dracula. Sorry, Bella. Like, he was he was just suave, Christopher Lee was. Number seven on our list is The Landlady. The Landlady is uh, actually a set of shorts that were put up onto the interweb. You can find them all on YouTube. Watch them in order. They're excellent. You don't even have to watch them in order, but, you know, you get a feel for her a little better if you kind of ease into it from the beginning. It's a much more recent Caroline Monroe performance, uh, and she's still beautiful. Still beautiful, and what I love is she pulls off, like, good classic creepy. There will be punishment. She lays out the rules. People are just getting their comeuppance. A woman drums herself to death in The Landlady. Uh, number one, two, three, four, five, six. Number six, the abominable Dr. Fives. Vincent Price. Yeah. Caroline Monroe. This movie's great because it's uh, really kind of funnier than it is scary, but, you know, it's got its, its gory bits. A uh, unicorn, a unicorn uh, statue, flies through the air and impales a man in the abominable Dr. Fives, which is pretty cool. Doesn't just fly, flies across a city block. Dr. Fives drinks a glass of wine through the back of his neck and gets to the bloodstream quicker. This is a funny movie to have on our list because Caroline Monroe is not so much in the movie. Mm. She's a picture in the movie, but it's an excellent movie. And they had Caroline Monroe in it, so it counts. Yeah, it does. Number five, Captain Kronos, Vampire Hunter. Captain Kronos! Uh, Captain Kronos is honestly one of my favorite movies ever at this point. It's, it's just fantastic. It's a vampire movie that just, like, makes up its own better vampire lore. Uh, Caroline Monroe is in it, so high points right there, and sword fights throughout. Excellent throughout. sword fighting in uh, Captain Kronos. He does a little dual blading at one point. How do you sleep? In a hammock? Do or you, you dig a hole in the ground and push your hump in it? <laughs> Terrible, awful what? bad guys. They get their comeuppance. On to the next one, number four, we have Don't Open Till Christmas. Don't Open Till Christmas. It's a Christmas film. <laughs> you might remember it from our last top ten list, the top ten Christmas horrors. It's a good one. 
it has an extended version of Warrior of Love as performed by the beautiful and enchanting Miss Caroline Monroe. Just out of nowhere, even. And it just blows your mind. And I'm, I'm the playing. warrior of love. Oh, yes, yes I, I am. am. And I'm coming to get you. I'm the warrior of love. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm coming to get you. That's the jam. Really a solidly good, uh, thoughtful slasher. Plenty of gore. Plenty of, uh... People dressed up as Santa, getting killed. Because really, why not? And number three, we have Maniac. Maniac. Joe, Joe Spinell. Spinell. Caroline Monroe. Joe Spinell. Spinell. Maniac. Caroline Monroe. <laughs> Maniac. So close. <laughs> we love this movie. Uh, uh, the scalping. The scalpings are great. They were great for the time, but, like, they still hold up. Maniac. Maniac. Uh, it's, it's beautiful, and there's, you know, there's a good, uh, there's a throat stabbing. There's a real good throat stabbing. Um, there's some good stalking that goes on, if you're into stalking. Not, like, personally. Maniac is Caroline awesome. Monroe. Kate. Caroline Monroe. Maniac. Joseph Bunnell. Who's a good maniac? Number two, the last horror film. Joe Spinell, uh, Jana Bates. Jana Bates, people. Uh, it's a movie within a movie about a movie. And about a psychotic, lonely murderer. He just wants to make it as He a wants director. to prove it to his mom that he can make it in the business. There's a big twist at the end. The first victim is the killer. Sorry. Sorry. Too soon? Throw, throw a spoiler over it. Yeah, people, you've had like <laughs> three decades to watch this movie. The spoiler alert does not apply here. Number one. Star Crash. Star Crash. Star Crash. Star Crash. Star Crash. You got a uh, space Ben Bear. And uh, if you know who Ben Bear is, then even better, you know? Country robot. Country robot. A, a robot from an advanced galaxy, uh, a, a different space and time, more technologically advanced, with the twang of a southern gentleman. And Stella Star. Stella Star. They got the, they got the laser cannons. Mmm, lots of love. Stella Star. She's beautiful. <laughs> yeah, we watched Star Crash a couple times. I don't know what happened. I, I really can't follow the plot. But I love it that much more for it. Uh, Caroline Monroe as Stella Star. It's mostly the outfits.